What's good YouTube, it's your main man, ABD Row, back again with another video. And today's video, we're doing Hornets versus Spurs. We're gonna do a brief recap. I know, I know a lot of y'all was like, bro, we ain't watching the Hornets no more. But I figured if y'all weren't gonna watch, at least I could still break it down for y'all, give y'all the recaps. And I couldn't let my dogs from Charlotte down to the true Hornet fans, you feel me? Uh, let's get it. All right, so last night's game was was interesting one because it's the first game without LaMelo Ball and the Hornets walked away with a W and they hadn't scored in that game last night as many points as they typically score. So the offense looks different, right? When you got LaMelo in the game, the pace is different. They're playing a lot faster, um, a lot more shot attempts, a lot more possessions. You get all of that stuff, right? Last night, the Hornets won by scoring 100 points, right? And so for me, because I don't really watch the Spurs, um, which they are a good team, 22 and 18 on the season, um, the Hornets, at some points of that game, looked like they were walking away from the Spurs. It looked like it was about to be a stupid blowout. And uh, I think that at those times when that was happening, it was like uh, it. they were playing at a pace that seemed a lot like when LaMelo was out there, right? They were tr intentionally trying to pick it up, right? At the beginning of the game, they were playing super slow. Then they started to pick that thing up, and then they looked decent, and then slowed it back down and let the uh, and, and let the Spurs creep back in it. But what we've seen from this Hornets team throughout the whole year is that they are clutch. And while LaMelo Ball is, to me, is the, the key piece to, like, make it so that they dominate in games, right? We're doing some shit that you just can't do. You can't keep up. Like I said, when they decided, yo, for five minutes in the game where they going, we gonna play balls to the wall, they look like a different squad. Um, but let, let's get into the ball scoring things. Uh, appreciate y'all subbing to the channel, hitting the notification bell. Um, the, the channel has been growing lately. Um, and we're gonna keep giving you the content. We got a few videos um, hopefully lined up for today. So rock with your boy. Uh, uh, and let's go here. So, the Hornets edge Spurs in first game since Ball's injury. Uh, yeah, so they, they got the W. And I feel like, which is cool, because a lot of people was like, yo, it's, it's over for them, right? What I will say and what I want to point out to you is this, right? We look at the box score, and, and what I want you to see here is something that I have been saying time and time and time out with this Hornets team, especially when we talk about Borrego. With LaMelo out, and, and the reason why his team gets an opportunity to play with such synergy is now look at the rotation. It's down to eight players. In the playoffs, when you're trying to win games and they matter, your rotation goes down to about eight players. You got your starting five who are your best dudes, and then you got three guys coming off the bench. It ain't no issues with the rotation and all that because we know what we gonna do. And that's what we seen last night. Our top five, three dudes off the bench. You got PJ with 42 minutes, Hayward with 37 minutes, Terry 39 minutes. Your top players giving you the most minutes, almost playing the entire game. This is the thing that we have been asking for with LaMelo on the court, right? Let let the let your dudes rock out. Stop with all of the uh 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 in any other game when it was crunch time and you got Gordon Hayward going. Gordon, come here. And this is LaMelo, obviously. Uh come on, come on, sit down, man. Sit down. No, no, no. We don't, we gotta watch a minute tonight. 40 minutes damn near for uh Terry. 40 for for PJ, almost 40 for Gordon. So that's what I'm saying, right? You see your boy Devontae Graham got moved back to the starting lineup, gives you nine points, four assists, three boards. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it just seemed like in, in, in one of the press conferences too, Borrego acknowledged that we're probably going to have to switch up the offense. We're probably going to have to grind it out a bit more. We're not going to score as easy in transition. We're not going to be able to woo, woo, woo. And, and you've seen that at times times last night but I will say that there were moments where they had it going you know and and if we go here and we look at the play-by-play -play here we see they started off what what I would call relatively slow right so 
you halfway through the quarter here and you had 13 points and, and, which which ended up being pretty not too bad because they they picked it up um it, even the game at the beginning was was pretty slow and then all of a sudden they started to turn it on here and then uh still ended the quarter with uh 31 points uh, so decent man decent not not bad at all but let's see it, with four minutes to go you got 15 six, 16 points and so you basically score in four minutes has almost as much as you score in the previous eight you know what i'm saying so you seen them pick it up man let's go over here uh percentages wise a decent night for for you know i mean your normal cast of characters terry rozier shot 35 percent from the floor i mean that that's that's not amazing however you need him to score he has to get shot attempts he's in a position now where if it's not going you got to keep sh shooting because we need the 24 points from you, you feel me uh gordon hayward nine, 50, almost 50 percent from the floor um 19 uh, attempts uh gordon after the game talked about it now because lamello's not there his usage rate is going to go up so you see that happening with his assistant rebounds right um 27 points i i think that there is some lamello's heart sprinkled on this game a bit you know what i'm saying so i feel like i know that he wherever he is that is watching this is proud right and i can liken this to whenever lamello um he when we were jba usa right there was a point where he um he left jba usa to go back to spire and when he did that he uh is right after that we got our first loss in a long time right we lost in lithuania and then we lost somewhere else and and they got a group chat right and the coach showed me Lamelo, who is not even in europe anymore who is in spire is calling people out on the group chat because he watched the game and he's like y'all gotta do this y'all gotta play faster y'all gotta bring the intensity you gotta do this you gotta do this you gotta do this and i feel like um my dog is with them like that i think he even tweeted like yo gang and, and showed that gordon uh dunk or whatever so so I, I appreciate about that, right? We're talking about character dudes, right? High character dudes, right? Not the type who, when you get injured, everybody starts celebrating and all of that character, but high character dudes, you feel me? I think that that's what you got from uh, a guy like LaMelo Ball. Um, and and I, I, I appreciate that, right? And that's why I support it, and that's why we rock with it like that. Uh, we're going to attempt to do these these recaps still, man. Uh, it's up to y'all, man. If y'all want them still, we'll do that. Um, um, I think that there's some ESPN video that I would need to react to today. Maybe some undisputed, uh, some some other little media outlet things that we need to talk about and all of that jazz. And I'll continue to keep y'all up to date with your boy Melo and, and what he has going. Um, from my understanding with the injury, he's like in New York seeking a second opinion like as we speak. And so we'll see, man. Um, um, I think that we'll, we'll keep the content rolling, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. And and also, I know y'all y'all ain't rocking with the Hornets no more, but don't leave your boy out here like that. No, man. But all right, man. She made man AB the rule. Y'all. No, not peace. Plus one, triple B's. We out.